My name is Jim Inman. I'm a fisheries biologist with Fish Bio. We're on the North Fork of the Feather River, just downstream of the Chester Diversion Dam. Um, we've installed an incline plane trap. It's the first of its kind in California. It's another form of a smolt trap, similar to a rotary screw trap. The incline plane trap works by having a screened funnel or fike uh, in the upstream position that attaches to a live box. They're hinged together and there's a weir structure or an adjustable panel that can control the amount of water and how it flows into the live box. To lower it, there's a series of winches that you lower the trap into the river. Fish moving down encounter the inclined plane they're pushed up and drop into a live box. The thought is that the inclined plane trap will be able to fish in lower flow conditions where a rotor screw trap is sometimes limited. Uh, you may not have enough velocity to turn the rotating cone or enough depth for a cone to fish. With this trap, we should be able to fish in depths as little as a foot in depth and divert enough flow to keep fish into the live box. These traps are installed um, very similar to like a rotary screw trap. There's two pontoons and they have cross bracings and then decking on top. Then they're held in place by leader cables. You have some sort of anchor points upstream, uh, either trees or a dead man anchor or some large boulders that you can secure to on both sides of the channel. So with winches on the front of the trap, you can adjust the position of the trap from bank to bank and move it forward and backwards. Once the trap's fishing, technicians will come out and open up the, the doors that cover the, the live box. And then you can scoop the fish out into buckets where you can then process them either on the deck or take them over to the bank where you can identify the fish, count them, measure them. Um, if you're gonna do marking and releasing, you can mark them. Typically, uh, your trap checks are done first thing in the morning as fish usually migrate overnight or during higher flow conditions. We researched the existing traps, talked to some folks up in Alaska that are using inclined plane traps, worked with the Department of Water Resources to create a design that both thought would work well. From there, we do all the fabrication, uh, all the, the metal work welding. Um, this is mostly aluminum, but also has stainless steel. Our field staff here today installed the trap and provided instruction on how to operate the trap. Of course, we're always available for any kind of modifications or repair if you know something happens to the trap. <laughs>